Have you ever stopped mid-turn at a doorknob and thought, why is this thing round? Why not a lever or a handle or something more ergonomic? We see round doorknobs every day, especially on older doors or traditional buildings. They're so common that they've become practically invisible. And yet, when you really think about it, their shape raises a surprisingly interesting question. Why did round doorknobs become the standard, especially when lever handles seem easier to use? Today, we're going to explore the strange history and logic behind the humble round doorknob and why it became the go-to choice for generations. Right here on History of Simple Things. Let's rewind the clock a bit. Before doorknobs even existed, people used simple latches, bars, or pull rings. These weren't elegant, but they worked. The modern round doorknob didn't start gaining traction until the 19th century. In fact, it was patented in the United States in 1878 by Osborne Dorsey, though the specifics of his version are still debated by historians. Regardless of who got there first, the late 1800s saw the birth of the round knob as a standardized hardware solution. It was easy to mass produce with the technologies of the time, particularly with the rise of metal casting and machining. The circular shape made sense in terms of manufacturing. It could be lathed symmetrically, required no orientation to function, and had a pleasing, balanced form. From a design standpoint, it was minimal, geometric, and practical, traits that the industrial age adored. Beyond just aesthetics, round knobs offered a neat mechanical advantage. Internally, the mechanism to engage the latch was straightforward. Turn the knob and a spindle rotates, pulling back the latch. A round shape allows for that rotation from any angle without needing to think about positioning your hand a certain way. Compared to levers, which often have to be installed facing a particular direction and can loosen or sag over time due to the torque they constantly endure, round knobs are much less fussy. The even distribution of force around the knob reduces stress on the internal parts. They're also less prone to breaking or getting jammed from misuse. In other words, round knobs were mechanically efficient and low maintenance, which made them ideal for builders, manufacturers, and homeowners alike. Another big reason for the round shape? Security and safety. Believe it or not, round knobs are harder to operate accidentally or on purpose by pets, toddlers, or intruders. Think about it. A dog can paw open a lever handle pretty easily. A toddler might be able to push it down with just their body weight. But a round knob? It requires a grip and a twist, something that demands fine motor control. That made it especially appealing for interior doors in homes with young kids or offices that needed a basic level of security. Also, from a security standpoint, round knobs are harder to manipulate with tools like coat hangers or wire loops, which can sometimes be used to bypass lever-style handles. This added resistance made them a preferred choice for both exterior and interior doors for much of the 20th century. Now, that's not to say round knobs are perfect. In fact, one of their biggest criticisms today is that they're not very accessible. For someone with arthritis, reduced grip strength, or any kind of hand impairment, turning a round knob can be frustrating if not impossible. Lever handles, on the other hand, require minimal strength. You can press them with your elbow, hip, or even just a closed fist. And this difference in usability has become a major factor in modern building codes and accessibility laws. For example, in places like Canada and certain states in the US, lever handles have become mandatory in public buildings or newly constructed homes due to ADA, Americans with Disabilities Act, compliance. 
So while the round knob may still dominate older homes and traditional architecture, the lever handle is steadily carving out its territory in modern design, and it's doing so with purpose. Today, homeowners and designers face a bit of a split decision, tradition or ease. Round knobs still have their charm. They look classic, symmetrical, and subtly elegant. Some people associate them with craftsmanship and history, especially in older houses. Others just prefer the way they look. But for people prioritizing convenience, particularly in homes with kids, seniors, or anyone with mobility challenges, levers often win. Technology is also shaking things up. Smart locks, fingerprint sensors, and push-to-open systems don't even require turning a knob or pushing a lever. As our interaction with doors evolves, the classic round knob might slowly become more of a decorative detail than a necessity. So with all that said, why are round doorknobs still everywhere? The answer lies in a mix of habit, heritage, and simplicity. They've been produced for so long that they're cheap, familiar, and often readily available at any hardware store. For landlords and builders working on tight budgets, replacing a broken knob with a round one is a no-brainer. For homeowners doing renovations, it's often easier to stick with what's already there than retrofit a whole new system. At the end of the day, the round doorknob isn't just a piece of hardware, it's a reflection of how design evolves and sometimes doesn't. It tells the story of industrial innovation, ergonomic trial and error, cultural inertia, and the slow march toward inclusivity. It's a perfect example of how something so mundane, something we touch dozens of times a day without thinking, can hold layers of history and thought behind it. While lever handles may be the future in terms of accessibility and convenience, the round doorknob isn't going away anytime soon. It's quiet, consistent, and curiously enduring. And maybe that's exactly what makes it such an iconic part of our everyday lives. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.